Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be reviewing the Rolling Stones album, Between the Buttons. So let's get into it. Before I start, I just want to state that there are two different versions of this album. There's the UK version, which is released on Decca Records, and there is the US version, which is on London Records, which I'll be covering. So, with that aside, let's just get in to Between the Buttons. Recordings took place in August of 1966 and ended in December of that same year. It was the last album to feature producer Andrew Oldham and was also really the first album that delved into psychedelia. The album was released in 1967. For the US, it was released on February 11th, and in the UK, it was released nearly a month earlier on the 20th of January. As you can see in the background, I took the record. Here's my re record, and as you can see, it is quite beat up, but this is an original 1967 pressing, I believe. It doesn't say, but this, I believe this is a 1967 pressing on the London label and in mono. The album, well, at least the US version of this album, kicks off with Let's Spend the Night Together, which was a hit single for the band. And if you were to have the UK version, it would start off with Yesterday's Papers, which is the second song on this album. But let's just talk about Let's Spend the Night Together. Famously, they performed it on the Ed Sullivan show and they weren't allowed to say let's spend the night together they were supposed they had to say let's spend some time together so when Mick Jagger sang let's spend some time together or yeah some time together he rolled his eyes and I don't believe they I believe they they banned them from the show but I don't think they did because they reappeared on the show in 69 for honky tonk women but it's a really good song. I'll play you a little snippet of it. The next song on the album, which is the first song on the UK version, is Yesterday's Paper. And I really like this song a lot. It's a great psychedelic song, and one of the first Rolling Stone psychedelic songs. And I'll play you a little snippet of it. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about Ruby Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday is one of the greatest psychedelic pop songs ever and one of the greatest Rolling Stone songs ever. And if you were to ask me, Mason, name me your three favorite Rolling Stone songs, this would be in it. Because this is just a masterclass of psychedelic pop and rock. And I absolutely love Brian Jones's recorder on this. And I believe Keith Richard is playing the piano on this song because I don't believe there's any guitar on it but for me it is the best song on this album and they also performed this one on the Ed Sullivan show for good reason the song on this album is Connection I love this song I love Charlie Watts' drums on it. I think they're so good. And they, they're, this song is just so underrated. For me, it might be my favorite song on the album besides from Let's Spend the Night Together and Ruby Tuesday. I don't know. It's, it's so catchy with the... And all that jazz. Next song on this album is She Smiled Sweetly. Oof, I'm gonna have a hard time editing this. No, I, I think she says yeah. She Smiled Sweetly is a good song. I like it. And it's gonna be one I do not play a snippet of because it's not one of my favorites. Only my favorites get a snippet played. I think, I, I like the organ in the background. I like that. And I like, uh... Mick Jagger's voice on this, I, I like it. Now, the closing track on this album, which is... Cool, calm, collected. I love the song to death. Just joking. 
No, I, I love this song. I love how it speeds up. And, I, yeah, I just love how it speeds up, I believe. Yeah, n near the end of the song. And it's, I, be it, I believe, yeah, no, it's the second longest song. The last song, which we'll get to, Something Happened to Me Yesterday, is 4 minutes and 58 seconds. But we'll get to that later. So, overall... I love Cool, Calm, and Collected. I think it's one of the higher rated songs for me on this album. Sorry, I'm just admiring the group here. I I just always thought that Brian Jones looks... What What is that smile, though? Seriously. Why would you let that on your record? <sighs> it must have been drugs. Side 2 opens with this. Yes, we're talking about a song called All Sold Out. I've never uh, read the lyrics of this song, but I heard it was about... I don't even know what it's about. It's about something. All Sold Out is a really, really catchy and really good song. I might love this song, but on my record, it does like a weird thing. At least to me it does. I'm, I'm not even going to show it to you. No, I'm not going to show it to you. But, yeah, it does a weird thing. I don't know if it, that's supposed to happen. Maybe I should check out Apple Music for it. But, it, it, it does a weird thing. That's what I'm trying to say. But overall, I think it's a really, really good song. Next up is... My Obsession. Yeah, that's, that's the chorus of the song. I really love this song, actually. I'll play you the chorus right now. Really catchy song. Next song is Who's Been Sleeping Here. I surprisingly like this song. And it's kind of an acoustic song. At the beginning it is. Well, actually, for the whole entire song, it is acoustic. Um, even though there are some tambourines and drums. But, yeah, I, I really, I really like this song. And I'm not going to play you a snippet because I'm really tired and I don't want to edit this video for two hours. Next song, Complicated. Why do all of this, well, most of the songs start with C? So we already have Connection, Cruel Calm Collected, and Complicated. It just doesn't make sense. Out of those three C songs, this is my least favorite. I like it. I don't love it. That's why I'm not going to play you a snippet of it. But I like this song, and I don't think it's a bad song at all. It'd probably be my least favorite song, though, on the album, though I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a good song, but I don't love it. Next up, Miss Amanda Jones. I love this song so much that I'm going to play you a snippet. I love it a lot. The last song off the, 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 the last song off this psychedelic, whatever you call it, album, or psychedelic. The last song of, off of this psychedelic baroque pop album is the longest song on the album. Something happened to me yesterday. I'm not gonna play you a snippet though. Um, I like this song a lot. I don't think it's the greatest album closer that the Rolling Stones have ever put out. But I like the song, and I'm not going to, like I said earlier, I'm not going to play you a snippet because I'm really lazy and I want to edit this video so you guys can see it. But, yeah, I, I like this song. It's not one of my favorites, but I like this song a lot. So let's get to my opinion of this album. opinion this isn't their best album but I absolutely love this album a lot I'd give it and like an 8.5 9 on 10 yes I think it's as good as beggars banquet because if you saw my beggars banquet and let it be review re review then you know that they're both equal in my opinion beggars banquet and between the buttons let it bleed is still my favorite but yeah my three favorite songs on this album are Ruby Tuesday, of course, uh, Connection, and Miss Amanda Jones, though Let's Spend the Night Together, and Cool Calm Collected, 
and my obsession are all great. And who's been sleeping here? Bye, everybody. I forgot to say this. Thank you for everyone who watched my Odyssey and Oracle little short video. It almost has 200 views, which is very, 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 very shocking. Hopefully, this video gets like 5,000 views. Or hopefully, it gets 5 billion views. Hopefully, it does better than Justin Bieber. Bye.